So now we got that in there. Okay. So all the bees now are. Take a picture of these bees clustered in here, Sue. Okay, now is this as fun as your last cut out? Yeah, because it's not actually in that dark garage. <laughs> <laughs> With one little light bulb and this is Eric and Russell, all three of us bringing at each other. <laughs> How come these bees are so nice? Well, we really took our time to. But no, because what we're going to do now is we're going to pick the pot up and slam it on the ground while ah. the bees go on the ground. But we're going to put the tarp down and put the hive on the tarp so they all end on the tarp and climb in the beehives. Okay, now I'm having a hard time telling the difference between cap food and honey. What we're going to do is <laughs> you're going to want to sit back and take a picture of this. We're going to put this here. Do you want to move this out of the area? No, you're going to put that hive box right there okay. with the entrance facing that way. Okay. So we move it now? I think the entrance is right here. A little it's slot at the bottom. bottom. Where I just put it the right there facing the bees. We want the bees in the hive, all right? Let's, yeah, that would be it. Done this before. I, I, I know you have. I just, I so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to pick this pot up and just bang it on the ground. All the bees will come off, and then we'll and then we'll lay it down so they can crawl in the hive. So I need somebody to. Uh, does anybody else want to do this task? I'll do it. <laughs> I can help. got coveralls and that on. So. Okay, so let's just take it over here first. I don't want to break the pot either done that before. Okay, so let's just take it up. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go up and then boom! Okay, okay. ready, up. <laughs> up, boom! Oh. Okay, move the box over by the boot. See, some are going in, some are going back to the pot. Yeah, let them crawl up in there, and we'll bang it again. We'll bang it closer. The reason I put the tarp down is it's easier to see them than when they're on the grass. You can be quote unquote rough with them so that they end up on a tarp. So you can shake them in there, right? And then if you can put them back in their own place, that'll help. Now, out in my van is a orange bucket with some sugar and baggies in it. And there's also a shim in it. So we can put a feeder on here if, to leave, so we can leave the comb in there. We'll put that on there before we go. But we'd leave them here for a week. They'll all go in there, same spot. The queen should mate. If there's a queen, and if not, hopefully they'll have one. Yeah, there's some in progress, so.
And if there, if there wasn't a queen cell, but there is an open brood. To say if I did this whole thing and there was no queen cell, no open brood, what would I do? You want to know what I'd do? I'd do everything I did now and I'd leave them and come back in a week and see or two and see if there was brood. Because there could be a mated queen, she could right. be in there but not laying yet. Or there could be a virgin queen in there who hasn't made it yet. Okay, so if, but if there was no queen, no queen cell, but there was open brood, then they could make a queen, a queen. cell. Okay. They usually draw it out of a. The reason you can tell it's a supersedure cell is they draw it out mm -hmm. of a worker cell <laughs> and it's on the side. Right. Right. So they look funnier shaped because they actually take the cell and elongate it. Some bee breeders think that when they use a worker cell to make the queen, she's inferior because she can't be straight up and down, she's bent. Right? So queen breeders do things that induce the bees to lay, make queens in queen cups they made and they draw them straight down. Okay, but the reason you can tell it's a supersedure, or they also call supersedure cells emergency cells. Oh my God, we don't have a queen. Let's hurry and make one. So okay, they draw so it out they, of the worker cell. They, all right. If if it's just a normal hive and there's a queen and brood and all that, and they're going to make another queen, do they make the cell first and then lay the egg? I don't know, but somewhere along the line they make the cell to fit. I'm of the opinion that they, the, uh, but I don't know for sure. Because you said they they pick a worker cell. Over by well, they're the saying edge. it's an emergency cell or a supersedure cell. There's an egg laid in there. Already, right. So they have to make that into a queen cell within two or three days. Right. The egg's laid. The next day they go, my God, we need a queen. And they'll elongate, start elongating that cell. I knew a guy that would take up a frame of open brood, right? He had a 30-06 cartridge. He would stick it in the cell and turn it down. And the bees would make queen cells. Hmm. Huh. Okay, but so the what I'm trying to figure out is which comes first, the egg or the cell? I, I think you're gonna ask the chicken. I think the egg does. <laughs> so the egg is laid, but it's always gonna be a worker. Well, the queen cell. lays eggs. They're gonna be right. workers or drones. Okay. After right. that egg's laid, they might decide that that needs to be a queen. Okay. But I think when they draw a swarm cell, the egg might be the queen is still laying, right? And she's decided right. to, they've decided to swarm. So they might have her go lay an egg in a swarm cell. Okay. It might not be a long swarm cell, it's small then, and then they'll just elongate it, right? So you can kind of tell what her purpose is for that egg, depending on what the size of the cell is, where the cell is. So like if you see a swarm cell, her purpose was to make a queen when she laid that egg, because that's what they wanted to do. Okay. Supersede your cell. They don't necessarily, her purpose was to make a worker bee, but they changed their mind because they have an emergency. Okay. All right? Supersedure's up in the middle, swarm is it's down at the, bottom. at the bottom. But there's always an exception. You have to kind of take a look at the, the context of this hive. This hive had no brood in it. We know they swarmed a week ago. They weren't really crowded. So I'm assuming all them queen cells we found on the bottom, around the edges of the farm, were probably replacing itself. <laughs> because some of the ones on the bottom are open, so we know they've swarmed. But see how they're doing now? They're in there, we got comb in there. They're not really yeah, they're pissed off. In the air no, they're in their spot now. So this is what you would call success.